drugs, and you have domestic disputes, and, and car accidents because people are on vacation and they forget how to drive. And, um, and so uh, my mom told the chief of police, uh, my son is a fine, upstanding, conservative, law-abiding, you know, disciplined person. He would make a great police officer. And so the guy said, you know, why don't you tell him if he doesn't have any plans right after college to come and do this for a while? She told me about it, and I thought, well, that could be fun. You know, it's kind of like acting. <laughs> you know, there's a theatrical quality to being a cop, if you think about it. And so the drama of, of everything. And so uh, so right after college, I went and I uh, went through the, a real quick training, a couple of weeks training, crash training, and I got my gun. And I got sworn in by the mayor, and uh, in uniform, driving my patrol car around, and being a cop. And uh, I had so much fun, you guys. I made like I made a game out of it. Like one day I would decide what kind of cop I was going to be, and I would pretend to be that cop. And then the next day I would decide to be a different kind of cop. And when I pull people over, I would act differently just to entertain myself. <laughs> but uh, I saw some pretty tough things, and you know, some pretty dangerous, scary things that I dealt with. But the funny thing was that about a year and a half into being a police officer. Somebody told them that my degree was in film, and that I did a lot of video and film work, and that I did a lot of theater work and acting work, and they're like, hey Vic, we need an officer to be the face of the Ocean City Police Department. We need to have commercials created, public service announcements and stuff to, to teach people how to use the crosswalk signs properly, and how to drive like adults, and how not to do this and that, you know. Because there are a lot of traffic fatalities in Ocean City, because the, the main strip that runs down Ocean City is called Coastal Highway, and it's like 12 lanes. And it's just a big, huge, long highway that runs down the middle of Ocean City. Ocean City is a peninsula, and it's only like two miles wide, and like seven miles long. So on that long stretch is this coastal highway. And people come out of their hotels, no matter where they are on coastal highway, with their coolers and their towels and their beach chairs and try to yeah. <laughs> run across 12 lanes of, uh, can you see this? <laughs> to the beach, to get to the beach, which is on the other side. And they get hit <laughs> a lot. They don't bother to go 25 feet down to the crosswalk. So you have people running across the highway all the time. <coughs> so I made a series of commercials as Officer Mignogna. <laughs> and uh, in my uniform, standing in front of my police car, telling them how to use the crosswalks. And we want you to have a safe and fun summer. Kind of garbage. <laughs> and I started doing those. And the more I started doing them, the more they wanted. And then they wanted a a training film for the police uh, cadets about domestic disputes and how do you enter a house when you, you know, you've, heard, you've gotten a call, as a police officer, you've gotten a call that there's a, a fight going on in a house. Are there any weapons? You don't know. Uh, does anyone have a criminal record? You don't know. Are there drugs? Somebody hyped up on LSD? You don't know. See what I'm saying? Has somebody already been injured, stabbed, uh, beaten up? You don't know. So there are a lot of things you need to teach, need to learn when you go into situations like that. Um, and so they asked me to start making like training videos where we would literally dramatize these things. And it was fun, but it wasn't police, you know what I mean? It wasn't, you weren't out on the street uh, doing the cop stuff. And so I kind of got bored with that after a while. Like this isn't being a police officer. So uh, I stopped and, and went on to something else. But uh, yes, that was a long answer to say yes, I was a police officer for two years. <laughs> Question? Yes. I need some time. <laughs> would I ever voice act in Sailor Moon? Are you kidding me? I would love to. <laughs> it's like asking somebody if they want to be in Star Wars. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Who would be a good character for me to play? Because I don't know Sailor Moon. Help me.
Sorry? You sound like Jedi. Did you say Jedi? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, what is it? Jedi. Jedi? Well, I sound like Jedi to me, so I like him. Would that be good? Jedi? It is a boy, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be doing like, Vic would look good in a skirt. <laughs> Okay, question. Yeah, see, because the directors like it if you come in and you go, okay, I totally need to read for Jedi. Because then they think you like know the show, right? <laughs> like, ooh, he's really into it. <laughs> so, 